Hi, it's Scott Jensen here. One of the most powerful lessons I learned as a kid growing up in Sleepy Eye from my mom and dad was never underestimate the value of saying thank you. It's been an unbelievable response. The Give, Send, Go initiative that we put in place a couple weeks ago, we hit our goal of 100,000. We hit our stretch goal of 150,000. We're at 160,000. I know that it's going to take hundreds of thousands of dollars to take this lawsuit against the Attorney General in Minnesota and the Minnesota Board of Medical Practice. It's going to take hundreds of thousands of dollars. But we have a place to start from. We know that we can do everything we need to. And I want to just give you a quick update. First off, thank you, thank you, thank you. But secondly, we expect in the month of May to be filing suit in a federal district court. And honestly, there's a couple of things you might find interesting because we've talked about it briefly before, but I wanted to let you know. There's a couple of cases you might find interesting. The National Institute of Family and Life Advocates versus Becerra, June 26, 2018, was the Supreme Court of the United States decision. It was March 20, 2018. It's number 16-1140. You might find that interesting as it talks about things that matter to our case. The other one is Lowe versus CSEC, L-O-W-E versus CSEC, January 7, 1985, and its Supreme Court number is 83-1911. There's no question, this is going to take a lot of legal work. We have a legal team, and we're going to add to it. You have made this possible. I've had a lot of people ask me, Doc, You've got a busy enough life. You've got seven grandkids. And yes, I am busy trying to teach them to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Why am I doing this? Because if I don't do this, if all I do is get the allegations against me by the Minnesota Board of Medical Practice dismissed, two things are being left behind. One, you. The person who owns a hair salon, a restaurant, a bar, a person who has a dental clinic, a nursing services office, anybody that's held to some governmental agency is at risk. And also, from a selfish perspective, if I've been investigated six times, why would I not be investigated a seventh time? Truly, we are in this together. This is the quintessential, we the people. We're standing up, we said we've had enough, enough of the censorship, we're gonna do it. So here we go, and I just wanna say it again. Thank you, and I will keep you posted.